So an Ohio cannabis school recently became the first ever business of its kind to receive accreditation by the Middle States Association, CESS, according to a High Times report earlier this month. The Cleveland School of Cannabis announced that it had become the country's first to receive this accreditation. Uh, MSA CESS is a nonprofit that has, you know, evaluated public and private educational institutions for like 125 years now. So, um, the school teaches live instructor led courses on everything from cannabis cultivation and industrial hemp to dispensary operation. So if this is your business, you know, if you're looking to open a dispensary or you're looking to be a, a farmer, uh, the Cleveland school of cannabis. So and it, so now, if it's accredited, that means you can even get um, school loans. You could get maybe I don't know if they if there's scholarship money that can be had. Maybe hmm. you know because how, how does one go to a weed school? Well, you probably go up and I think all apply. it takes is a mighty mighty dollar bill, yes. Lewis. Hey, I wonder, yeah, Cleveland School of Cannabis. See if you can find out what I'm it. Quite it, sure it's a for profit school. So yeah. uh, just if you can cough up the fifteen grand for the program or whatever it gets, I don't know what how much. You should it call costs, them up. But. That's what I want to know. I, I bet if you called them up and said uh, you were interested, yeah. Do you have any scholarship requirements? They'd fire back with smoke weed every day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tuition here. What is it? Oh, you're not going to tell me on on online? Oh, never, never. You got to call so they can run their sales pitch on you. Ah, come on. Somebody had to have posted. All right, uh, CSC's tuition ranges from seventy five hundred to fourteen thousand dollars. So, if the University of Phoenix is often described as the Harvard of the internet, what would be the weed school? Hmm. Wait, say again. University of Phoenix online. Yeah. You know, oh. it's often called the Harvard of the Internet. Oh. What would the weed school be? Oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. This is a significant step forward for the cannabis industry. Let's see, uh, they've got over 1,100 graduates so far, and they've already made substantial contributions to the workforce and knowledge base of the cannabis industry. They're on uh, Granger Road in Independence, Ohio. Oh, they have a Columbus campus on Corporate Drive. Look at that. So you don't even have to go to Cleveland. You could go here. Wow. How about that? One of the sat- yeah, but is it the same? Like a satellite school? Is that like a, you know? Well, I assume like, uh, you know, like we have Ohio State, but they also have a Marion campus. And- you don't go to Maine Weed Campus. You go to like Weed High School. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's cool. You can go get a degree now. Well, I don't know about a degree. I don't know if it's a degree, but a certification. You can learn what you need to learn if you want to open up a weed business. Ron says he's about to get his second subway, and when he saves some money over the next five years, he's going to open a dispensary for his daughters to run. Well, send them to this school now then, man. And that's what I'm saying, Ron. Forget whatever school they were planning to go to. Yeah. Got an extra 28 grand? Absolutely. There's yeah. a new career path in front of them. Couple send a couple of daughters to weed school. <laughs> right here. 3700 Corporate Drive. What are some of the classes? Funyuns 101. <laughs> I love that. There's fuel on Video the Video games and fourth meal. Right. <laughs>